welcome to this episode of Running Russ, where we failed at getting a car running and driving home. So we realized how intimidating and expensive it is to get a classic car running and on the road. So we went down to West Virginia and we bought this for 900 bucks. Our thought right now is, why don't we create a series budget build? The idea in the series is to get a car running and road ready in under $2,000. Now right now, $900 for this, we're gonna do fuel system, we're gonna check the brakes, we're gonna check the coolant, we're gonna do rims and tires on this thing. Well, on our budget, just tires, cheapies. And that's where we're at right now. We're gonna do all of this using stuff everyday people have. Normal hand tools, nothing crazy. We're gonna do it all on the cheap. On the cheap. I know, man, there's a lot of smoke there. Smoke. Yeah, it's probably from that fluid. That's probably from that fluid. Nah, it is what it is. All right, let's move it. Let's yeah, this is gonna be here around. Yeah, this is gonna be here all night. All right, Hunter is here today. The first time he's seeing the new C20 truck in person. He's been cruising. All right, Jess. All right, Hunter, are you impressed? Yes. Show the people the car. They can see during days. So as you saw last time in our content, uh, we didn't quite get this to drive home, but today we're gonna see what we can do to make this thing drive. First time Hunter's seen it, what do you think? It's mossy. That's uh, the biggest thing I'm seeing so far. The hood takes two people to open. It definitely uh, has nature written all over it. There she is, the, the hood That's hinges it. are Oh, loose. look at that. Yeah, it actually That's the best part of the car so far. The hood hinges? Yeah. No, the best part of the car is the size of the engine bay. Yeah, look at the size of that. So, so we have to start cutting it out. Oh, don't say that. So cut the wheel wells out. So our plan No, we're not gonna <laughs> cut the wheel wells out. Well, I think we should turn into we're a drag truck. We're gonna expand drag venue. truck. Drag truck? Use some headers Dude. out the Ru side. Hey, running rust, more like running budget. Today we're gonna show you what it takes to get a car running and driving again with absolutely no money because we have none so uh, christmas just happened as you can see in ohio it's winter it's cold everywhere dressed cold and we're out of money because of the holidays but we have a truck and we're going to teach you what does it take to make this move again without money and to talk about that. not having money we are in the facility that we would like to actually be inside of That's but unfortunately we're outside only those garages we're trying to rent, no vacancy. Nope. Are you saying, Hunter? How long has this thing sat? This truck has been off the road since 1996. That would be, I think, simple that, math that, here. That's as old as I am. That's 28 20, years. It was a 26. Well, I, no, I said 27. I'm 27. So. Yeah. 28 years off the road. Can we get it running right now? We can. Hey, have you get the fire going yet? Yeah, I'd love that. Oh, serious. God, that'd be great. Hey, well, you're filming yourself, my guy. What's up, it's man? Slow mo, is it? No, I screwed that up. <laughs> <laughs> I have amazing the slow mo guy's footage. Got one job. You may have missed out. I on did a get. Little... I got some good stuff, Phil. Well, we got a lot of good stuff. You may have missed out on a little content because Dave wanted it to be slow. -mo. Yeah, that's me. Slow mo, Dave. Slow mo, Dave. Hey, from now on, we have to have a checklist go -go when we go somewhere giddy happy, so we don't forget, so we don't forget all of our tools. Yeah. <laughs> we we Listen, drove, Hunter, we drove away so you giddy don't, happy. You don't need a checklist <laughs> when I'm there. That's true. I will Hunter, get my tools. Hunter is the man when it comes to tools. Matter of fact, matter of fact, during Drag Week, he was the guy who kept charge of all that stuff, and he did a great job. 
but he was not there. So live and learn. Living La Vida Loca. Hunter decided it was. You wanted to so go is this here. any better than a cruise or what? No. <laughs> Basically, this is more fun than the cruise you probably live. Oh. Oh, I don't want to get into that. Ooh, but it's uh, rusty, crusty. All right. I'll tell you when it's like about to come off, that, and then we'll do the video. It's about then, to then oh, we okay. Can do, like step four. Yeah, there's not a lot of room. That frame oh, wait, looks no, good though. It. I don't need a step four. This is just me pulling it off. Yeah, step four will take him out a little bit. Somebody else here. Is this dual exhaust? Yeah. Nice. V8, baby. We got the more hearse burrs. Hey. The big reveal. Let's see, does it have oil in the pan or does it have water? Oh, it's there you go. Oil. Wow. Not, not a lot of much. oil, though. <laughs> Serious, man. Look at that. Or it's just thick. Uh, I think it's just not very much. Yeah. Okay. Just stay down there. That's quite a bit of oil, actually. I wouldn't know if I'd call it quite a bit. Well, it's better than no oil. Hey, it's got a two-piece drive shaft. What? A two-piece drive shaft. Yeah. What does that mean? The drive shaft's not one piece, it's two. Because it's so long? Yeah. 164-inch wheelbase. Damn, that, this frame is really beefy. What? The frame is thick as Just like you. Yeah, it's me. Thicky, thicky. Sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, why does this have that on there? Don't question it. Aftermarket. I don't know. Aftermarket something. No. So oh, you... wait. Film? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, what the heck, man? Dang. Step nine, step nine, step nine. Step Dave. Nine. Dave! It's on his camera is what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah but... All right. I don't hear <laughs> step nine. Don't forget to add your oil. Been there. No, I haven't. Ooh, let's see. How many quarts? I don't know. Well, it's going to be Maybe at least... Until the stick is full. Oh, God! <laughs> don't overfill it too quick. It's because it's like super thick, huh? Well, it was all the way in. Ain't got no air. Well, this is a uh, heavy oil. Always make sure you use that Rotella 15W40. It's got all the minerals that you need, all the dinosaur juices and zinc. That'll keep your engine running happy. Plus, it's only 15 bucks for five quarts. Not great in the winter, though. A little, a little, uh, a little thick. too thick in the winter. It moves all slow. Extra lubricity. Lubricity. I know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it. No gas in it. It had gas, just not sectors. Fuck. Okay, let me swap out my glove. Uh, it's got gas on it. I know what your glove's problem is. It's got gas on it. Oh. oh. Did you find yourself in a situation where your carburetor doesn't work? We're gonna show you how to change it out. Oh, yeah. Step one, I hop up on the car and then loosen the bolts that hold down the carburetor. These bad boys, you don't have to weigh them down. It ain't your lug nuts, baby. Ooh, look at that. Shiny. All right, next step, put on the shiny, oh, let me show you not the zip tie side. The shiny new carburetor. More power, baby. Alright, let go. Let go, let go. You want me to hold it again or no? I'll hold it again. And then as soon as it goes, let go? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let go. Okay. Ow! So we found out, a, we found a problem. I don't think your distributor is supposed to do this. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Oh. I don't like working on trucks where the engine's so hard to get to. You could nice. almost stand inside of here. You could stand. It's literally that huge. 
So, so far, we have a new carburetor. We got transmission fluid. We got. Oh, we new, haven't put the transmission fluid. Oh, we have not. Okay, we got the oil change. So now we're switching out the spark plugs. And we're gonna switch out the spark plug wires, and we're also gonna switch out the distributor. And uh, now. hopefully things will uh, move along. We'll find out. Get your hand out of my hand. Their hands touched over a spark plug. It was a spark. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's one of those things that I've just been avoiding touching him because I knew there would be a spark. Ooh. Here we are. I'll give me something to touch. You. Well, unfortunately, I'm, I'm getting out. Well, unfortunately, because I'm gonna die. Watch that. Whoa. <sighs> well, gut check, huh? Dude, I'm, I feel lightheaded. This is in my sack the whole time. Yeah, this thing. he's bouncing. I kind of like that thing. Oh, that one's all right? That one wasn't too bad. Uh, <laughs> you got to get back in there, dude. You got to put that distributor cap on. He's got a minute. Well, you might actually actually pull that whole thing out. <laughs> Don't talk like that. Sell it. Has but his. it just went up like $600 of value. Dude, this is no more than six. We do. Uh, we'll, we'll sell it as it sits for four thousand dollars. Well, I mean, we bought it for ten grand. We'd be taking a loss. Yeah, we'd be taking a loss. Let us know in the comments if you want to buy it for thirty-two grand. Twelve grand. Yeah, in the comments. We're. I mean, we're cutting you a deal. Yeah. The deal makers, right here. They like doing that all the way in there. Oh, it's all the way in. Ooh. I'm arm deep. Arm deep. Ooh. Arm oh. Deep. Tell us more. Dave knows a thing or two about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dave and the old arm, arm, deep. arm deep. They call him Arm Deep Dave. Arm Deep Dave. Oh, what? Who's the recipient? Oh, you tell me. I don't have. Okay, Arm Deep. <laughs> uh, don't pretend. Edit that don't out. Don't act all coy and bashful, Arm Deep. Oh, I am nervous. Heats in the tools. Oh, is that where it goes? Oh, that's a neat one. It's annoying. Is that really where it goes? Yeah. I've never seen one like that. He it's, got that from a co coworker. Buy, I got this one for free. Thanks, Jimmy. Shout out, Jimmy. So you're just going to leave the old one in there? What? Well, right now we're just going to try to. I got to take it out to put this one in. Oh, right. that was my question. I didn't. I I was thinking you were somehow gonna fit it on top of the carburetor. What the fuck? Goofy as hell. <laughs> what are you an idiot? You're going for a whole new design. That's why I was asking. I was like, that doesn't look like anything I've ever seen. But I thought you were you, just talking about the secondary cap on the. No, cap. you were like over there pushing on it like it's trying to fit. Well, I was trying to get the cap to sit. It on almost it. looks like it does fit. Right. That's a good. Uh, <laughs> leave it like that, Josh. Why doesn't this work? <laughs> Tell us in the Tell comments. In the comments. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, you guys. Hey, right on, brother. Hey, no leaks. It probably has a vacuum leak or something. That's why he's going. Yeah, a little. It's like it's like the accelerator's being tapped. Dude, we got... Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> we need to push it back.
started the film because you were like, she had a grab, I'm like, why are you grabbing that? 